Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to create this cool 3D abstract typography animation in Hit Film Express. To get started, we'll create a new composite shot and we're going to call this main. For duration, let's go with 10 seconds long, 19, 20, 10, 80, 30 FPS and click on OK. Now let's create a new composite shot for our text. We can call this text placeholder. 10 seconds long and for the width we're gonna actually match the width of this comp to the width of our text so uh, let's just leave it as it is for now let's click click on ok i'm gonna create a new text layer and i'm going to type in something like tutorial there's our text i want the width of this comp to match the width of my text and the height as well so i'm gonna go back to the settings of this comp so I can click on this little gear icon at the bottom, click on that. And in the width, I'm going to start with 1000. And for the height, I'm going to set this to 250. I have already done this before, so I kind of know the values uh, for 235 font size for impact font. These are the values I think works perfect. But if you use a different font and a different size, then you have to use different width and height values. Just click on OK. and make sure the text is right in the center like that the comp shot doesn't have to be perfectly cropped up or aligned with the edges of our text i mean you can leave some space around and uh, that's perfectly fine and once you have it then you just create a new plane layer and call it bg for background and give it a black color because our text is white if your text is black then make sure the bg is white the background color is white click on ok and just drag it below then let's create a new composite shot and call it 3d and 10 seconds long this should be 1920 by 1080 and this is the comp where we will be creating our 3d uh, look of our text um, so we're going to drag in our text placeholder comp just drag and drop and to differentiate it from the the background color of our text to the background of our comp we can go to options and change the background color and choose a color other than black and click on ok all right there we have it now let's turn this text placeholder layer into 3d click on layer dimensions icon and click on 3d plane and click on yes to add a camera now you can see that our background turns back to black color so we're going to again change it to a different color. Click on OK. All right, so let's duplicate our text placeholder layer. You can hit Control D or Command D or right click, click on Duplicate. And on this one, I want to change the anchor point. So you can see right now the anchor point of this layer is right in the middle. And I want this to be at the bottom of this shape or this layer. Uh, so I'm going to go to Transform and change the anchor point value on the X. So it should be negative. Let's you can use the scroll wheel or if you have a mouse, you can use that to change it by every one pixel and negative 125 looks fine. So I'm going to change the position and type in 125 over here. And if I press enter, you notice that it will move to the top, which is exactly what we want. And now I want the rotation to be 90. So now if I use the orbit around selected layers tool, this icon over here or you can press b on your keyboard i'm going to click on that and i'm going to rotate around you can see that we have the top part of our 3d text All right now we need the bottom and the back part so i'm going to again duplicate this Control d we just have to go to transform hold the Control key and click on this value over here negative 125 i'm going to click on that and it will change the change it to 125. I'm going to do the same thing to position. Hold the control key and click on this value. It will change it to a negative sign. And on the rotation, you just have to manually type in negative over there. And now we have the bottom part of our 3D text. Now I'm going to do the back part. I'm going to duplicate the very first layer or the very bottom layer. Control D and move it to the very top. And uh, just go to transform. You just have to move it back. So I'm just going to you can use the on screen controls. 
to move it back use the selection tool and just you can push it back like that or you can just use the position over here to move around so make sure you do this perfectly you can just zoom in and be precise with this i think negative 249 looks fine all right so there we have it and now on this one we just want to rotate it because if we take a look at it the orientation or the rotation is not correct so i'm just going to rotate the x by about 180 just basically flip it right now it looks fine so we have our 3d text box right now you can go to new camera transform and you can select the transform and hit ctrl r to reset it or you can just right click and click on reset so that will reset everything there we have it now to create the animation we will create a new point layer and make it 3d we need to parent all of these text composite shots to the new point layer all right so if we animate it right now if you go to transform and rotate the rotate the layer you're going to notice that it doesn't rotate from the center it actually does but the layers the text itself the text composite shot doesn't rotate from the center and that's because if we go to active camera i'm going to click on that and change the view to left view click on left you're going to notice that this right here is our new point which is in the center and all these four composite shots are not in the center of this new point so we're going to select all these four layers and with the selection tool we're going to drag it to the right and we're going to just eyeball this and try to align it in the center something like that you can use the floor plane to align things in the center you can see that this line these two lines and these two lines have the same amount of gap so just try to align it as best as you can in the center and now if we actually can also notice that we have this extra bit over here so we can just go to text comp 4 and just push it back a little negative 126 looks fine that's almost perfect all right so now if we go back to our active camera and use the new point layer and rotate it around you're going to notice that it will rotate from the center all these composite shots and that's exactly what we want so i'm going to start animating this create a keyframe on rotation go to the end i'm going to rotate it in downwards direction so let's actually do negative 360 which is one complete rotation that looks fine now all we have to do is create that twisted effect and for that we have our main comp over here so I'm going to drag this 3D comp into this main comp. And again, I'm going to go to options, change the background color to something else and click on OK. Now we'll create a new plane layer and um, or we can just drag in this background, drag and drop. I'm going to right click on it and click on rename and call it gradient. Right click on it and click on make composite chart. And you can call it gradient comp or anything that you want select these two options and click on ok and on this layer just make sure that the width and the height matches the width and the height of this comp so i'm going to right click on it and go to transform and click on fit to frame then the effects i'm going to search for uh, color gradient if i can find it it's over here let me just add this to favorites color gradient and apply it on this layer Right, so just move the black point to the left edge and white to the right edge or you can just move the black to the right and white to the left doesn't matter so just do that and click on close now you can go back to your main comp hide the gradient comp now in the effects we're going to search for time displacement this effect is the real meat of this tutorial just drag and drop on your 3d composite shot and expand the time displacement expand the displacement and set the source layer to gradient comp all right so if you scroll up to the timeline you can see we already have this nice displacement going on so the time shift if we go to the hit fill manual you're going to 
see this time displacement effect and you can see it displaces pixels by time. If we go to the bottom, you can see that this black slash white time shift, these controls are measured in seconds and determine the time shift where a displacement map is full black or full white. So since we used a gradient comp and it has this full black and full white, it displaces or it changes the animation according to the gradient map we have. So we have the black on the left and white on the right and we also have an animation when we apply the time displacement effect it changes the or displaces the time when the animation takes place i don't know how this is done behind the scenes but that's how it works and if we go to time displacement we can play with black time shift and white time shift so you can increase that one and you can increase this to negative one and you'll get more displacement in your animation so Finally, we can go to our 3D comp and we can change the colors of this text placeholder. Now let's apply invert effect to our second comp. Move forward and you can see that changes the black to white. And we're going to apply the invert effect to this one over here. Drag and drop. Go back to your main comp and the changes will take place in your main animation. Alright, so there is also this wipe going on. I don't know how to get rid of it, but it's there. If you know why this happens, just let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.